Hello, my name is Matthew, a master's student from Peking University from Ireland. Today I've come to the Gulo, the most northern point of the Beijing Central Axis, to learn more about this old drum tower. I've heard recently that they're recruiting volunteer drummers to take part in special performances, and I'm here today to see if I can make the cut to be a drummer myself. Well, after listening to such an interesting introduction about the drums in, used in ancient China, it's clear that drums play a really important role in ancient civilization. And I was reminded actually of the Irish drum, the Bauron, which is played like this actually, is a traditional Irish drum, which is still used today in Irish traditional music. Um, and in ancient Ireland, it was also used to keep everyone on time, to keep everyone working together in harmony. So it's clear that drums in, no matter where you are in the world, definitely play an interesting and important role in keeping time, keeping everyone on track. Standing here at the top of the Beijing Drum Tower, we can see straight in the distance Jingshan Park, which was the highest point of the Beijing Central Axis in ancient China. And to the east now, we can see the skyscrapers of modern Beijing. So really from here, we can see the evolution of Beijing City. Here on the first floor of the Drum Tower, you can see pictures taken from 100 years ago of what the Drum Tower used to look like. And you can see in ancient times, the drum tower still played a very important role in people's lives. We could see that many people used to gather at the behind the drum tower where I entered from, and they would gather here and they would sell goods. It was really a hustle and bustle place for everyone in Beijing. So uh, it was very important in ancient times. And following the beat of the drums, people would know when to start selling and when the day was over and they could pack up their goods and go home. And beside these ancient pictures, you can see that there's many microphones here and you can actually listen to some of the ancient sounds from what the street like this used to sound like back in ancient China. So here we can see selling Tonghulu, an ancient Be uh, Beijing snack, a traditional snack of Beijing people. And we can listen to what the vendor would have said when he was trying to sell his items. Wow, I can really feel the atmosphere of what it must have been like to be in ancient China. And it really almost reminds me of Peking Opera, if you've ever uh, listened to those performances. So inside the drum tower, we just saw what the outside here area of the drum tower looked like 100 years ago. But if you look here today, while the purpose has changed, it's no longer an area for selling goods. We can see that there's still so many people here gathering. It's still a meeting point. And we can really just think of this area as a meeting point, I suppose, of ancient China and modern China coming together. People still meet here. You can see people young and old, and they're continuing the traditional uh, sports of ancient China. We can also see someone painting a painting, um, as well as uh, children playing games and playing music. So it's really a very vibrant area uh, here as well to this day.